All right, Scope TV, TGIF, Friday night, Boston, Oakland, Los Angeles, the world. We have got none other than Eyes on the line tonight. Eyes, what's happening? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Where are we, uh, where are we talking from tonight, and uh, what's up for the weekend? Oh, we are talking from Oakland, California, and uh, yeah, we're calling from Oakland, yeah. And what's up for the weekend? Oh, the weekend? Um, I think I have a show. I don't remember. <laughs> mm. Excuse me, I'm having uh, my first drink of the weekend. Oh, okay. Now, at what age did you fall in love with music? And begin um, calling think, yourself eyes. Okay, um, I was born into. My mom is a was a music teacher, and she sang a lot uh, while I was in her womb. And she even told me that uh, I sung before I could talk. So I was born into that, and uh, I came up with my name Eyes when I was about eight years old. Mm. And what is it? What's the meaning behind it? Is it what's why do why eyes? Because um, people don't need to ask a lot of questions about me. Everything that they want to know about me is in my eyes. All they have to do is look inside of my eyes. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Now, Dedicated could be the best song to have for Valentine's Day. Uh, when did you write that song, and was that song written for a certain someone? Um, it started off being written about a specific guy that was in my life, but as I began to create the song, it was less about him and more about love in general, just maybe someone I haven't even met yet. Hmm. Now, you truly understand what it takes to make it in music. I mean, we, we've, Scope has been following you for a long time. Where did you get such a strong work ethic, and is your, and are your family and friends supportive? Um, my family didn't start being supportive until recently, until they saw my, all my success. I think that I've been driven by the fact that my family never really supported me to begin with. So I depend a lot of, on myself uh, with my success. I work very hard. Mm. Now, who are two female singers that came before you that really inspire you to, uh, to chase your dream? Aaliyah. Hmm. Um, I can't think of anyone else, but Aaliyah was my number one influence growing up. And what was it about Aaliyah? Everything. She had imagination. She was creative. And, I mean, everything about her, all of her videos, she put all of her effort into it. There wasn't one video that she didn't have a say in what she did and her video, Are You That Somebody, was like my biggest inspiration because she was dancing around in a cave. And then uh, four page letter, she was in the forest. So she was very creative. And she, in my opinion, she revolutionized music. Hmm. I, I, I agree. I definitely agree. And I'm sure that a lot of our listeners out there, I'm sure that they agree uh, as well. When, uh, from when we first spoke years ago, your fan base has, has really exploded. How does it feel when you have someone who has become a new fan, and uh, how have you used the internet to, uh, to really grow your fan base? Well, I was very happy when I um, started getting new fans. Um, uh, my fans are wonderful. Um, I try to talk to them a lot, and I think that that's what keeps my fan base healthy. I actually respond to them. If you join my emailing list on my website, which is www.thelovelyeyes.com, you can join my emailing list. And when fans uh, rep respond back to my uh, e-blast that I send out, I respond back. So, And I try my best to keep in contact with everyone. And also, for the people out there, if you want to really see eyes, also, if you Google E-Y-E apostrophe Z, yeah. that's also a good way. It really lays out, because you're really on every music site, I think, that's out. Would you agree? <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> now, what mood or time of day do you have to be 
to write music? What what is it? The mornings? Are you do you do it best when you're sad, when you're happy? What 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 really inspires you to write? It doesn't really matter what time of day it is. Um, I would say like the last song that I wrote, it was at nighttime. Uh, most of my songs, uh, it, I can't really tell what time of day it's in because usually my curtains are closed. But if it's business, uh, like if somebody hires me to write a song, I do it right then and there. You know, so it doesn't take me that long to write a song for someone else. So it doesn't really matter what time of day it is. That's interesting. I didn't know that you wrote for other artists. Speak a little bit on that. Um, well, I wrote for this one guy. Um, I really put a lot into his song. It didn't take me but 30 minutes, but, you know, his management was kind of faulty, and I have no idea what's going on with uh, his song, but, you know, I, I write a lot for different people. It, sometimes it's for fun, sometimes it's for business, but... You know, if I am going to write somebody a song, they have to take it uh, what they do seriously because I can speak. If, if you have trouble saying what you feel from inside your heart, I can help you with that. But I, I can't do that for free. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Because then they better stop paying for a psychiatrist. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you think it was a big deal that Christina Aguilera messed up the national anthem at the Super Bowl? Or was it an honest mistake? Um, no, I, I guess it was an honest mistake, but I didn't see it, so I can't really speak on it too well. I, I, I heard some something about it, but, you know, I think that maybe she might not be focused on what she's doing, but because she's going through so much in her personal life, but... I mean, I, I really didn't see it, so I can't say too much about it. That's cool. Now, you have two L.A. shows this month. You had one last night. Um, how do you get prepared to perform live, and uh, what is an eye show like, if you could let us know? An eye show um, is like, I don't know, you, you kind of step into something different, because like I'm the only artist that I know. Everywhere I go, I'm the only one that's singing and playing the piano or keyboard. So um, people's uh, vibes are, are different once they see me get up there with a keyboard. They kind of be quiet. <laughs> I guess it takes people back to the old school to, like, have respect that a musician is on the stage. It's not, like, drums or nothing like that. It's just me and the piano. And as far as me preparing, um, really uh, putting on makeup kind of gets me in the zone. <laughs> But I really don't, sometimes I do stuff to prepare, like be real quiet, but I don't usually have time to prepare. Sometimes I just have to be ready as I'm on my way there, perform and then leave. So it's like that. Hmm. Now you have a new song. It's actually on Scope Radio right now, Silk Lounge, and it's got a very hyphy sound to it. Is that because you're from Oakland? And uh, who made the beat? And also, who was the MC that you had on the track as well? Okay, um, the artist that's on that song is Young Age. We both did that beat together. He did most of it. Um, we uh, created that song uh, because we are from Oakland, and I wanted a hypey sound. It came out more this. This is just another type of hypey. Um, and, yeah, we did that because we're coming straight from the town. <laughs> so, yeah. And what is, what is the Silk Lounge? Oh, the Silk Road Lounge is actually um, a club here in Oakland that actually just closed down recently. Um, me and Young Age were getting our start there, there in the Oakland Metro. And we met at the Silk Lounge, and the DJ will play our songs. And then uh, we came back, like, the next week to uh, play the song that we wrote for them. They actually didn't play it, but everybody else started listening to it, so it's all good. <laughs> and there's a lot of people listening to it now, especially since it got on Scope Radio, that's for sure. Oh, absolutely. If it's on Scope, it's going to be heard. That's right. That's right. Now, we don't need to get into it. We don't want to get into it. But you, you went through many struggles in your life. And, and I feel like you've come out stronger. How did you find the strength to keep moving uh, better than you were before uh, and, and try to give you know the people advice on 
because a lot of people are going through some tough times. How, what, what is your, uh, you know, what's your, you know, motivational? Um, I don't really have much motivation, uh, as far as, uh, you know, struggle time. Um, I won't get into it too deeply, uh, like you said, but I have felt suicidal and really nothing really stopped me from doing it, but I just pray. Like I pray a lot. And sometimes I just pray for miracles to happen, and then a miracle will happen. Half the time I'll just go to sleep or something. I don't drink or smoke any type of drugs or anything. So I bet that it's harder because a lot of people say that they drink alcohol and it numbs the pain. I don't really have anything to numb the pain. And half the time when I'm feeling that bad, I don't want to write a song. So, yeah. And alcohol and emotions don't really mix anyway. Okay. You know, okay. you really you don't want to drink when you're uh, feeling sad because it's only gonna make you more sad. Well, actually, you know, I drink a lot of apple cider. Good. Yeah, yeah, because I can't drink champagne, so I bought a bunch of apple cider. I drink that. <laughs> now, this is the final question, and this has really been an amazing interview. But let the scope listeners know what's coming up for eyes and where you at online. We got about thirty seconds. Okay, um, you can find me uh, anywhere online. You can find me on Django. Um, you can find me on my website, www.thelovelyeyes.com, thelovelyeyez.com. And thank you. You've been wonderful. <laughs> well, this was great. This was great. When's the next show? Oh, the next show is actually this Thursday at the G Club in L.A. Um, I just did... Uh, the Palm Bar. I'm going to be performing there again. And a couple of other um, clubs in Los Angeles and Oakland, California. So, yeah, from Oakland, from the Bay to L.A. So that's basically my get down for right now. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Eyes. Scope listeners, you know we'll be back soon. Enjoy this, this Eyes interview, and we'll see you all soon. And have a good weekend, everyone.